Hello guys, welcome back to the next uh, part of the tutorial. Um, in this one you can see that I have uh, finished sculpting all of the nails and all the cracks that I want for this tutorial, uh, for this uh, piece here. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to decimate this mesh because uh, we want this mesh to be um, duplicated uh, and then moved over here and then we want this big piece to be duplicated. Uh, we, bas we basically want to duplicate this a couple of times. And as you can see here, we already have uh, three and a half million million polygons. So if you double this, it's going to be seven million polygons. If you double that, it's going to be fourteen million polygons. And uh, by that time, my computer is going to start um, lagging out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decimate this mesh. So in order to do this, well, decimation is basically you take this mesh, which has a very high amount of polygons, and then you collapse it down to a small amount of polygons um, by uh, but still keeping all of the um, all of the nice details that we have now sculpted into this. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to come up here to C plugin and we're going to go down to Decimation Master. So and then with this object selected over here, uh, let's just get it back here. Um, I'm going to uh, press pre-process all and what this basically does, it's pretty automated, uh, automated process it's just analyzing the mesh and, and calculating all of the polygons and, and their positions and stuff like that. So uh, this is going to take a little while, so I'm just going to pause the video here. And uh, I'm going to come back once uh, it's done uh, pre-processing. Okay guys, it's now done pre-processing this piece. So um, what I'm going to do now with this, uh, um, this uh, object selected over here, um, I'm going to go to C plugin. And seeing as we already have 3.5 million polygons, I'm going to choose a very low amount of polygons that I want to be left with. So I'm going to choose something like 1% <coughs> um, of decimation. So this just means that, that we're going to be left with a drastically lower polygon count once this process is done. So I'm going to choose a low amount like 1%, or in this case 1.26%. And I'm just going to hit decimate current. Um, and as you can see, visually, nothing really happened to this model here. Uh, but if you take a look at the active, active points, we're left with uh, around 45,000 uh, points. Um, and if you take a look at the wireframe, uh, you can see that we no longer have this uh, very high amount of density of polygons, at least not where they're not needed. You see the high intensity of polygons around the nails and where the cracks are and stuff like that. So that's basically what Decimation Master has done for me. It has taken the, a very high amount of polygons and dissipated it into a lower amount of polygon well. And this makes it easier for my computer to handle. So now that I'm going to duplicate it, it won't be so stressful on my system. So what we are going to do is with this uh, object selected, we're going to um, duplicate it like so. You can see that we now have two of these models. I'm going to come down to deformation and the offset tool here. This is what we're going to use. This offset tool only goes to 100 in either direction. So um, if we need to move it more than 100, we'll need to do it in more steps. So I'm just going to type in 100 because I know beforehand that we are going to do this. Uh, you can see that it, does, it doesn't really, um, it didn't go to the end out here of the of the other model. So in this case, we can try a different couple of numbers. Uh, let's just try adding 30 to this, and you can see we're st we're still like we're still not on the edge of this. So let's try two more. And that's not enough. Let's go two more. That's one too many. So let's just uh, deduct one from that. And this is this is basically okay for this. Um, so with this, uh, these two uh, placed like this, we're going to go to Subtool and we're going to merge these ones. So I'm going to merge down here. So this is now one piece. And we're going to duplicate this again because now we want it to um, move in the up direction. Uh, we, we basically want it to tile all around. So let's go to deformation again and we're going to take off the small x up here and we're going to take on the c uh, direction up here. So we're going to put in 100 again. Let's put in 30 again just to keep it simple. And let's see, was it 3 that we needed to add to this? Yes. This is basically okay. I, I know that there are a couple of different um, uh, cracks here or um, whatever you want to call it, gaps or whatever. Um, but we can fix this in Photoshop, so that's not really a big deal. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to 
um, I'm going to merge these two so they're one object so merge down so this is now one object and then we have the plane as well um, and the ne next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place this plane in a place within this these tiled um, wooden planks so I'm going to turn off on transparency so I can see uh, the, the plane a little better below uh, the planks and I'm then going to choose my move tool by pressing W or you can also just click up here move and I'm going to come to the corner here let's just do it here I'm going to left click with this corner selected I'm hold shift and I'm going to drag out like so um, I'm just going to let go of the left click and now I can use this handle uh, in the middle and left click that and I can move my plane so I'm going to move it somewhere where it's, to some place where it's entirely covered by planks so something like this is probably okay let's put it uh, let's put it here um, I want it to be where we're not going to have issues with the nails when we're going to to use those in Photoshop so this is probably okay um, and then gonna turn on off transparency I, I don't what I meant is I don't want to cut any of the nails in half if I if I can avoid it and it seems like I can avoid it by doing this so I'm gonna turn off transparency and at this point I'm going to um, uh, I'm going to um, resize my uh, canvas so I'm gonna come to document and I'm gonna I'm while not having a proportion turned on I'm going to put in 1024 by 1024 this is basically what we want to render out we want our texture to be a 1k map so with this, uh, this these two selected I'm gonna hit resize and it just tells me that uh, resizing is an undoable operation and if we still want to do it I'm just gonna click I'm just gonna, gonna click yes I'm then gonna draw in my model again like so and turn it the way we want it uh, something like this um, and I'm just gonna zoom out so I can see what I'm working with so with this selected I don't know why my ZBrush keeps the old model in the background but it, does, it doesn't really matter for this I'm just gonna select my plane now I'm gonna remove the uh, I'm just gonna hide the uh, the planks that I just draw, drew in and uh, uh, being able to see the entire canvas like this I'm gonna hit F with the plane selected so that the plane covers the entire canvas like this and if I then turn on the planks again you can see that we now have the planks um, showing on the entire model here or the entire canvas so this is this is actually the the tileable texture that we're going to to render out um, so in the next video in this series we're going to do some rendering inside ZBrush um, and getting a couple of different maps from that so uh, that we can use inside Photoshop so uh, I hope you're going to uh, watch that as well and see you guys there